Welcome to another Infrascale how-to video. Today, we're going to be talking about Cloud Boot drag and drop orchestration for the latest release of Infrascale Disaster Recovery 6.10. Our mission is simple, to eradicate downtime and data loss. As a quick review, here's how Cloud Failover works. Here you have users relying on central servers for their core applications to be productive. These machines are protected on-site and replicated to the cloud with the Infrascale Disaster Recovery Appliance. But when one of those servers goes down, downtime begins for your users. They can't do work. Administrators can boot on the local appliance and connect those users to end the downtime while a production fix or replacement is worked out. Or if there is a more serious site-wide failure, like what you might experience with a natural disaster or ransomware, then on-premise failover won't cut it. But without panic, the admin can fail over those machines to the cloud, reconnect the users to end the downtime while a production fix or replacement is worked out. And our mission doesn't end here. We've made it even simpler and faster, automating some of the failover steps after the machines are booted into the cloud. In a typical environment, you may have multiple servers with varying roles, and those machines and applications have dependencies upon other machines to work properly. So it's not as simple as just booting then reconnecting. This means that your recovery steps will have to require a bit of knowledge about the applications in play so that the proper recovery order can be done to more quickly and efficiently end downtime. Your recovery process may look something a bit like this, starting from top to bottom, left to right. And that's why we're introducing DRAS orchestration to help streamline these steps and reduce the complexity from many clicks, wait times, and minor configuration tweaks to a single click. Here's how it looks. So here we are in the disaster recovery dashboard and we navigate to the boot tab. In the boot tab, you'll find a new tab from 6.10 and above called orchestration. Orchestration allows us to define different groups of machines and wait times between the boots of those machines. To set up new groups, it's quite easy. Simply drag and drop a new group over to the right side of the screen, and then you can rename them for easy reference. So for this first one, we'll write domain. Second one, crit apps, DBs, and then all other servers. In between these groups, we understand there may be some additional steps, maybe you wanna run a couple of scripts, or maybe you simply just have to wait to make sure that everything is up and running. So you can put a, a wait time. Then you can start moving over the machines that you want to boot in this order. So we'll move over our domain controller, which is the DNS and Active Directory, since that's one of the core servers in any network. Then we can start adding over our critical applications and database servers. So we may have, say, a Windows database server, maybe some other application server here, a mail server. Once all these applications are up and running, then you can start plugging in things like your web server and file server to finish out. Then we hit save. The benefit of doing this is that now we have a full site-wide disaster recovery plan that can be executed in the single click of a button. This means that not only can disaster recovery situations be recovered from without as many options for error because of the reduction in steps to do so, but also it means that we can have other people in our organization perform test recoveries without needing to understand all the steps. When we hit run, the boot orchestration will initiate. If we go to our active tab, we'll start to see all these machines booted into the cloud as they become available. Additionally, it becomes very simple to verify that a machine is actually running. So here we have our 2008 R2 server, and more servers are populating. To immediately check to see if the machines are up and running, I simply click here, and within the browser, I'll be given VNC access. Paste in the password I have from the previous page, and then I'll be able to log in. So here I'm booted into my Windows server 
and I can begin verifying settings, applications, anything else I need to do to make the next recovery steps. If I go back to my tab, we'll see all the other machines have booted and more to follow depending on how big our orchestration ring is. So we can see that in just a very short amount of time, we we're able to do a full recovery of the entire environment into the InfraScale cloud. And that is boot orchestration in version 6.10 InfraScale Disaster Recovery. For more information, visit InfraScale.com or check out our YouTube channel for more self-help videos.